Music's an art form, and nobody knows that better than DJ Hell. We'll be interviewing him later on tonight. But first, it's time to get up close and personal with Jesse Rose. Welcome to day number four of 10 Days Off. Do you need the cigarette after that amazing set you just played? Uh... Probably, yeah. <laughs> Probably, yes. It's been a long week. This is the, um, I think, the fourth or fifth festival this week. So it started off, we did our night at Panorama Bar last Saturday, and then I flew directly to We Love Space at Space on Sunday, did that with Heidi. Then flew from there to do five days off in Amsterdam, and then flew to Berlin again to do Melt Festival, which was cool, sunrise set, and then um, flew directly here to do 10 days off. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty much as crazy as it could be. It's good. Good crazy. Good crazy. Good crazy, yeah. Was it good crazy in there? Yeah, definitely. Sometimes you get nervous if you're playing like a big show. Not often, but sometimes for certain places. But here, I would never get nervous because it's like, you know the crowd are into music. You know they've come to party and it's like, you can relax and just get into a groove, you know? I feel like if I just play big records the whole time, I feel like a wedding DJ, like I should have a mic and be like, and the next record is. So um, yeah, I try and veer away from that and build something up a little. You had an interesting overview on the people today. There's a, a kind of a pyramid thing in front of your yeah. booth. Did, yeah. did you like that? To be honest, I didn't like that. <laughs> I mean, if it was up to me, I would be in the crowd. Like, I think it looks good from when you're in the crowd to look up at the DJ. But I'm always one of those people that wants to be as close to the crowd as possible. I mean. Like, I buzz off them enjoying having a good time, so the closer we can be together, I think the better. I made that pyramid especially for you, Jesse oh, really? Rose. It looks beautiful, though. It's hot in here. I was wondering, is music still your favorite art form? If not, I would not sit here and I would do something else, you know. But um, I was always looking for other excitements. And uh, but I'm a DJ and I love what I'm doing. And I think it's a, it's still the greatest thing in in the world for me to travel, play in front of people, you know, do these festivals, playing clubs. I can't think about anything else. Still, I'm not only a DJ. I also run a label. I'm a producer. I'm a, I'm also have now I take care of some bur burlesque dancer. Do you need all these different things to, to keep your mind busy or to, to keep your mind creative? I don't want to limit it myself, you know, and it's like I'm, I'm also very into soccer, into sports, I'm, I'm into skiing, I'm into bicycling now, and uh, it's like I always try to find out new experience and new things in life, you know, I don't want to repeat it, and I'm always looking for the fresh things and new things, and I'm not afraid to try it out, and um, I always try to jump into new worlds and new actions, and that keeps my life fresh, I think. And uh, now I'm designing underwear. Underwear? Underwear for men. Really? The first collection, yeah. I did some underwear line with H and Pro Couture. Show us, show us. That's the first. Hellwear. Yeah. It's a designer from uh, Vienna. It's called Bandy and Jim and, and Hell. And it's kind of, you know, what old, uh, uh, what your grandmother is wearing with this kind of flowerish material. You can wear it as well, but it's, it's, it's the first main collection. I tried it and it looks, it's kind of, it's kind of transparent, but it's cool. <laughs> I only wear Gap underwear. I don't know how it happened, but at one point I decided that white Gap boxer shorts was the only way to go, which is quite annoying because sometimes I run out of underwear and I've got to go and run around the city to find a Gap. And when you run around, are you not wearing underwear? No, at that I'm point? still wearing. I'm still. Yeah, I'm just. I'm on my last pair generally, and then yeah. Because you're such a cool guy, I offer you, cordially and with love, the last 10 seconds of this piece of whatnot. What's a whatnot? This is a whatnot. People are watching our whatnot. So I think Nina's had one too many and gone off to try and nick Helmut's underwear, which seems a bit weird. Um, I'm going to hang out for the rest of the night, check out Optimo in the other room, maybe a little bit of DJ Hell. Hope you've enjoyed the show. I'm Jesse Rose and I'll catch you soon. <laughs> <laughs>